Freiburg at home against Bayern Munich. 24,000 filling the Baranova Stadium. It's the smallest one in the top division. And that was sold out for quite some time, as you could probably imagine. Bayern Munich fresh from that huge disappointment of going out of the Champions League to Inter Milan. Their target now very much a qualifying place for next year's Champions League. We join a game in the fourth minute. Freiburg, the home team, on the attack. Cisse brought down by Kraft, or so it would seem, especially to Robin Dutt, Freiburg's coach, who's hotly tipped to move over to Leverkusen sooner or later. Nine minutes gone, free kick from Ribéry, and Mario Gomez popping up to score his 19th goal of the season. Torero, 1-0 to Bayern Munich. Would Freiburg catch the frustration of the Champions League in this game. No chance at all for Oliver Baumann, the German international, getting that one past him and into the net. Uli Hernis in the centre with the red and white scarf, nearly smiled. 13 minutes gone, another chance for Freiburg. They were not too bad in this game, they really came at Bayern Munich in the second half. And things were to get better slightly for them after Macchiadi was brought down by Kraft. This time, Peter Gagelman pointing to the spot. This game very much a duel of the best scorers of the league. Well, Mario Gomez had already scored one. And, of course, Papis Demba Cisse is the man who is responsible for taking the penalties for Freiburg. Some would argue over that penalty, but it was awarded. Up step, Cisse, and it's a poor penalty, it has to be said, although all credit to Thomas Kraft for saving that one. Not in the corner as hard and fast as it should have been, and Cisse knows it. He had the chance there to get his 18th goal of the season and keep tabs on Super Mario Gomez. He made up for it, though, just a few minutes later. Mudza with the long ball, Putzilla with the header back in. Headed away, though, by Van Boyten. Bastian's getting it through to Cisse. Cisse getting the better of Luis Gustavo and of Thomas Kraft to score that 18th goal of the season for him. On fire this season, Freiburg, seventh in the table with 37 points. Still very much with a chance of a Europa League place. Chests it down, picks his corner and takes out the camera as well. Then disappointment on the half hour for Iron Robin, aggravating an old injury. He comes off and Altintop comes on. Five minutes later, though, it was a chance again for Freiburg. Great work from Caliguri, takes a shot, comes back off the post, and Macchiadi somehow unable to steer it into goal. A let-off for Louis van Gaal's team. Macchiadi surprised that the ball came straight out to him and he could only shin it away. Half-time, 1-1. And here, too, binoculars needed to keep a close eye on what was going on in the penalty box. Two minutes after the restart, Munich on the attack again. Pranic getting it past Bastians. And the shot from Kroos deflected by Gomez. Seven of the Bayern squad in the German international team to play Kazakhstan next weekend. They won't be wanting anything like that to happen in front of their coach there, Yogi Löw. 58 minutes gone and another chance for Freiburg. They certainly weren't hiding in this game. Macchiadi beating the offside trap. Putzilla taking over the ball. Gets it back to Macchiadi and somehow only managing to hit the side netting. Cedric Macchiardi had the chance to get Freiburg's nose in front. Didn't take it. Robin Dutz directing his players from the sidelines. Munich, who've lost four out of their last five games in all competitions, searching desperately for a winner that would keep them in the hunt for the Champions League places. Another chance and another not-taken opportunity. This time, Altintop unable to get the ball in the back of the net. Robin would probably have done better if he was fit. 77 minutes gone, Kors lobbing the ball forward to Schweinsteiger and Altintop. 
out in top once more, foiled by Oliver Bauman, who was having a very busy second half indeed. Louis van Gaal with a shake of the head. 84 minutes gone. With Robin gone, there had to be something from somebody else. Ribéry picking up the standard. Miroslav Klose again foiled by the combination this time of Bauman and Toprak. Would Bayern find that breakthrough with just two minutes to go? Luis Gustavo, then Timochuk to Franck Ribéry. The Frenchman hardly ever disappoints, and when he gets the chance, he takes it. Fourth goal of the season for Franck Ribéry, and this time Uli Hernes can raise a smile. Bayern Munich killing off the game in the dying seconds. They have to qualify for the Champions League. It's the very least they can do for their fans this season. They are out of the German FA Cup, the DFB Pokal. They're out of the Champions League. They don't really stand much chance of getting past Dortmund. But three points in the battle for second or third place worth their weight in gold. Frank Ribéry celebrated by the fans. The final score in Freiburg, it's Freiburg 1, Bayern Munich 2.